The seven qualities of success. Now, I'm not going to have time to go into all seven, seven of these qualities, but I'm hoping that you'll write them down and then commit it to memory and do what I've done for the last 20 years since I've known this formula. Uh, think about all of these things because what I'm going to say is simple and yet it's very profound and it comes from somebody who is a lot smarter than, uh, than I'll ever be. So the seven qualities of success. Hey, just for watching this video, let me send you my free book, Ruthless Marketing Attack. I've got 63 books for sale on the, uh, the internet right now on Amazon.com especially. Uh, but this is my all-time favorite. I'm known as the Blue Jeans Millionaire because if I can make millions of dollars, anybody can. I'm looking for joint venture business partners, and I'll send you my free book just for watching this video. No cost, no obligation. You'll get the digital copy. Then, of course, if you want the hard copy, just go to Amazon. But if we do start working together and you want the hard copy, and we're joint venture partners, of course, I'll give you the hard copy. Just ask for it. I'm hoping we can make money together. Go to heytj.net, H-E-Y-T-J.net, or click on the link on this page. And now here are the seven qualities of success. These come from Maxwell Maltz, uh, the author of Psycho-Cybernetics. So if you've never heard of Max, uh, Maxwell Maltz, uh, look him up, M-A-L-T-Z, Maxwell. And in his book, uh, I believe it was Psycho-Cybernetics, it might be another book that he had, he, he outlined a very simple um, uh, acronym for success. So each letter represents a word. And I've thought a lot about all of this for years, and I'm not going to have time, unfortunately, to go through what I think about all seven of these things, but I'll try to give you a, a highlight of each one just a little bit. Or, um, so there's, there's seven letters in the word success, and each letter stands for a word, so it's an acronym. The first one is a sense of direction, having a sense of direction in your life. The second letter is understanding, and that can, um, that can be understanding yourself, your business, your marketplace, people in general, being a student of human nature, questioning things, going deeper, deeper, deeper all the time, asking lots of why questions and trying to think on your own. Uh, the first C stands for charity. Uh, trying to treat people with, uh, with respect and giving and serving and loving people or striving to do all of that. The second, the second C stands for courage. Courage is moving forward in the face of fear. So courage is, you know, you can be scared. And, uh, in fact, in fact, that's really what courage is, is, uh, is moving forward in spite of your fears, not letting your fears hold you back, having the courage to do things it's living outside your comfort zone. You know, things like that. All growth happens outside the comfort zone. So that's S-U-C-C. -C. The E stands for esteem. Um, Self-esteem, esteem for all life. You know, just realizing the extreme value of life. Life is a sacred thing and ex 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 um, esteem for all things. You know, the, having that attitude that life is a precious, precious, precious gift. And, uh, and that everything and everyone you come in contact with is, uh, is also, even though they don't seem to be a lot of times, we all fall short of the mark. And if you could see five minutes of my worst behavior in life, you would hate, you would, oh my God. You wouldn't want to see a video with five minutes of my worst moments in life. But, but having esteem, esteem for all things and all people in spite of the way they act or in spite of the way they, they misbehave sometimes or, or, or fall short of the mark, Okay, so that's S-U-C-C-E. Uh, the first S then stands for um, uh, self-confidence. Um, uh, self-confidence, uh, um, you know, having confidence in yourself. And, um, and then the second C stand, or the second S stands for self-acceptance. Uh, Accepting yourself for who and what you are. You know, I'm an old man now. I'm 57 years old and I am old. I look in the mirror every morning, it's my dad looking back at me, I swear to God. I'm going to paint all my mirrors black, just like, just like the shirts I, I do these videos with. Paint, paint all my mirrors black. I, getting old sucks. But the one cool thing about getting old, first of all, beats the alternative. Second, 
you just start accept, accepting yourself a little bit more as you get older. You know, you start realizing how imperfect you are. You, you love yourself in spite of all of that. So self-confidence, believing in yourself when nobody else believes in yourself, in you. I'm sorry. Believing in yourself when no one else believes in you. Uh, believing in, you know, your capabilities and knowing yourself and having that confidence in yourself. Knowing that you can handle everything or anything. That's where courage comes in. And then self-acceptance. You know, just accepting yourself. The more you accept yourself, the more you accept other people, the more you accept the world around you. So it's a great formula. Uh, sense of direction. Rather, you know, so does that mean goal setting? Well, it can mean goal setting, but, you know, knowing where you're headed and why. What's most important in your life and why? Understanding. That's a big one for me because I... I, I, I love to think as deep as I can, asking myself lots of, que you know, why questions, you know, and, and just trying to think for myself and, and not just take, uh, you know, other people's opinions and, and not substitute their judgment for mine. Really just think for myself, having an understanding of human nature, why people do what they do, the market that you're in. Uh, all aspects of, of, of life. It's, it helps you cope with things. You know, the more you understand things, the more you don't take people, what they do personally, the more you don't really take anything personal. You just, you know, understanding is a really important thing. And then charity, you know, just trying to treat people with the respect that they deserve, even when they don't deserve it. That's the hard part. Uh, and then courage, man. God. Moving forward in the face of fear, that is such a great uh, thing that all entrepreneurs have to do, all, all people have to do really, but to be an entrepreneur, it takes a lot of courage, esteem for all things, valuing life, the sacredness of life, self-confidence, it's a plant of slow growth, it takes, it can take years to develop self-confidence, true self-confidence, um, but, but deciding that you're going to believe in yourself no matter what, and um, and then self-acceptance, just accepting yourself. For years, I wouldn't even do these videos because I, I, I wasn't, you know, I was afraid. I didn't like the way I looked. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't even want to do videos, even though I know that that's how people get a sense of who you are on the internet, especially, you know, where you all these slick websites and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, I hope you, I hope you'll write those seven things down. I hope you'll do a word study on those seven things. I hope you'll think about them. And I appreciate the fact that you watched this video. I am looking for joint venture business partners. So go to my website at heytj.net, H-E-Y-T-J.net, heytj.net, or click on the link on this page if you're, if you're, um, if you, if you can, uh, you know, if you're finding the video that way. And let me send you my book, Ruthless Marketing Attack. I've got some tremendous business opportunities I'd love to tell you about. No cost, no obligation. And uh, the worst thing that can happen is you're going to get my favorite book. Out of all 63 of them for sale on Amazon, this is my favorite, Ruthless Marketing Attack. And I, I really hope um, you'll, you will take action. Reach out to me, heytj.net, H-E-Y-T-J.net, or you can even send me an email at tickets at heytj.net. Reach out to me. I hope we can become joint venture partners and memorize those seven qualities of success. It's a great acronym. It's a great formula. And um, there's a lot of wisdom there. If you'll really think it through, you'll, you'll, your, your level of thinking it through will become deeper and evolve over a period of time. So really think that through. I'm happy to share that little formula with you. It's been very helpful for me for the last 20 years since I've known it. And I hope it helps you. Hope that you'll reach out to me at heytj.net, H-E-Y-T-J.net. And maybe we can become joint venture business partners and make a lot of money. But even if not, you'll get my book and a special surprise because I'm not just going to stop with my book. I'm going to also give you a special surprise that will blow you away. So thank you very much and bye for now.